Anytime someone finds an injured bird in the area, they can bring it in 24 seven to the hospital. I've kind of split my duties between uh, the ACCA and the hospital itself, so assisting with surgeries, performing some surgery, but I've been helping primarily with intakes for ACCA, so I've helped feed a lot of our education birds that we currently have and just helped to make treatment plans for some of our long-term care. The Avian Conservation Center of Appalachia was founded in 2012, and we've grown substantially since that time. We have about 40 volunteers that help care for our injured birds and our educational birds, and we see a variety of species. So each year we admit 300 to 350 individual birds, and they range from birds as small as hummingbirds to birds as big as bald eagles or loons. Before we release any of these birds, we want to make sure that they're actually going to be able to survive once released back into the wild. So the first thing that we want to do is check the feather quality on their wings. Um, are they missing any primary or secondary feathers that would be necessary for flight? Do they have any joint effusion on palpation? Or are we feeling any fractures that might have occurred while they've been here and stuck in the cage? Uh, we check their feet to make sure that uh, they have good grip quality and they don't have any underlying bacterial infection. And then we usually check their beak to make sure that they have good function to be able to catch their prey and actually consume it and that they haven't acquired any kind of fungal infection from being around other animals. So every bird that we send out is going to get one of these exams to make sure that we, we aren't throwing them out to the wolves. We're making sure that they're fully flighted and they're ready to go. It's a unique experience. Each day is new. Um, for the students, it allows them to meet people, get out of the classroom, and see how a nonprofit is able to function and, um, uh, and serve the community. I love that WVU gave me the opportunity to pursue something that I love, that I can go to every single day, and I, I don't feel like this is a job for me. I have so many different things come in every day, um, whether, you know, it's a nest full of babies or if it's a hawk that's going to have a fractured femur and we're going to be placing an external fixator on it. It's given me so many opportunities to, to meet people at the ACCA, to wherever I go across this country meet other WB alumni who are pursuing the same path and different paths. Uh, it's just no matter where I go, I'm always meeting other mountaineers.